Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 29th of November. Rescued workers in India's Uttarkashi Tunnel Healthy recount ordeal. India forms committee to look into security concerns raised by US. And 21 fishermen reach Chennai after being released from Sri Lankan prisons. And now for all the details, in India's most choice successes in long time, 41 men trapped in a tunnel in Uttakashi were rescued with the help of rat miners. We bring to you the accounts of their ordeal of being stuck for more than 15 days. After being rescued from the Silkyara Tunnel in India's Uttarkashi, following two weeks of high-level operations, the 41 men were brought in a health centre where doctors declared all of them healthy and fine. The tunnel workers recounted their ordeal and said they had faced difficulties concerning food and water initially, but the issues were eased after the rescuers managed to insert a pipe through which they delivered supplies to the trapped men. After the machinery failed, rescuers brought rat miners who drilled through the debris and rocks and saved the lives of the 41 men. खाना पीना हम लोग का जो है सो गिरने के बाद हम लोग को 10 15 20 घंटे थोड़ा परेशानी हुई उसके बाद जो पाइप था हम लोग का पानी का पाइप उससे हमारा खाना की व्यवस्था की गई उसी से हम लोग को खाना मिलता था उसके बाद थोड़ा 10 दिन होने के बाद फिर बाहर से पाइप का एक जो व्यवस्था की गई उससे हम लोग खाना काजू किशमिश बादाम रोटी चावल दाल जो भी मिला सही सलामत सब चीज की हम लोग को प्राइवेट की गई मीनवाइल फैमिलीज ऑफ द रेस्क्यूड वर्कर्स सेलिब्रेटेड द रिटर्न ऑफ देयर लव्ड वंस एंड सेड इट इज लाइक दिवाली द हिंदू फेस्टिवल ऑफ लाइट्स फॉर देम ऑल ऑफ द 41 मेन वर ऑन वेडनेसडे फ्लोन टू एम्स हॉस्पिटल ऋषिकेश फॉर फर्दर चेकअप का बहुत खुशी है हमारा लड़का वहां से ने बाहर निकलेगा सुरम से ने बहुत अच्छी है तो किस तरीके से आज घर पे आपने दीपावली मनाई है हम आज दीपावली मना रहे उस दीपावली दिन यही बात सुनने को मिली तो कहां दीपावली जा दीपक जलान कुछ ना जला रहा ना प्रसाद चढ़ा रहा कुछ नहीं आज आपने दीपावली मनाई आज हम दीपावली Earlier, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also congratulated the workers over call and praised their determination and patience. The tunnel is part of the $1.5 billion Tardham Highway, one of PM Modi's most ambitious projects. Authorities have not said what caused the cave-in, but the region is prone to landslides, earthquakes and floods. India has constituted a high-level inquiry committee to look into the security concerns raised by the U.S. government, India's foreign ministry said in a statement on Wednesday. Spokesperson Arindam Bakchi said New Delhi takes inputs like the one shared by Washington pertaining to nexus between organized criminals and terrorists seriously as they impinge on India's national security. He said the government will take necessary follow-up actions based on the findings of the inquiry committee. The statement comes days after the White House confirmed that it had warned New Delhi about its involvement in a thwarted plot to kill Khalistani leader Gurpatman Singh Panun, a wanted terrorist in India. International rights body the Human Rights Watch has accused Pakistan of widespread abuse against Afghan refugees which compelled them to return to Afghanistan leading to a situation of humanitarian crisis. In a statement, the rights body said Pakistani officials created a coercive environment for Afghans who were born in Pakistan and never lived in Afghanistan to return to life-threatening conditions in the Taliban-ruled country. Highlighting mistreatment and demand of bribes by Pakistan police officials, it said registered refugees were also subjected to ill-treatment by authorities who either confiscated or destroyed valid documents. Islamabad has so far not entertained calls by international organizations and refugee agencies to reconsider the move, saying Afghans have been involved in terror attacks and in crimes that undermine security. 
Moving on, activists in POK have lamented political indifferences, have stalled allocation of funds in several areas, and this is subsequently stalling development in the occupied region. A report. Political workers of Pakistan Tehrike Insaf have decried politics by the ruling dispensation in Pakistan occupied Kashmir over non allotment of development funds in areas ruled by their party. The PTI activist staged a demonstration and said the development in the region is already stalled over rampant corruption and negligence by Pakistan government. This is a new law that rulers in Islamabad have stooped to in order to harass them. دیگر ہم اپنا یہاں پہ احتجاجی کیمپ بھی لگائیں گے اور تب تک لگائیں گے جب تک وہ ہمارے مطالبات حل نہیں کرتے کیونکہ یہ صرف ہلکا تین پاکستان تحریک انصاف کا نہیں ہے یہاں پہ نون لیگ اور پیپلز پارٹی اتنی سٹیک ہولڈر ہیں جتنے ہم لوگ سٹیک ہولڈر ہیں یا وائی آف حروق صاحب سٹیک ہولڈر ہیں یا پی ٹی آئی سٹیک ہولڈر ہیں یہ نا انصافی کیونکہ ستر ہزار لوگوں شہریوں کا یہ حق مارا جا رہے ہیں Locals in POK have long blamed they have been at the receiving end of the discriminatory policies of Islamabad. They say they are fed up of poor roads, power outages and the corrupt system, which is least interested in bringing about a change. Sri Lankan President Ranil Vikramasinghe on Tuesday said that the island nation needs $100 billion to become a net zero emitter by 2040 as the country also attempts to build climate change resilience while navigating through its worst financial crisis in decades. Vikramasinghe said Sri Lanka will focus on green financing tools including debt for nature swaps and added it does not have immediate plans to utilize green bonds. Uh, we feel that Sri Lanka has potential for uh, export of renewable energy. We are having connectivity with uh, India for this purpose. But there also seems to be a lot of excess capacity as far as green hydrogen is concerned. We are, we are working on it. I think we, we can easily be an exporter of green hydrogen. Meanwhile, a group of Sri Lanka's creditor nations reached an agreement in principle on debt restructuring for the island nation, Japanese top financial diplomat Masato Kanda said on Wednesday. Japan co-chairs the group together with France and India. The deal will help Sri Lanka clear the first review of an IMF bailout by early December while securing a second IMF tranche of $334 million. And 21 Indian fishermen arrived in India's Chennai early on Wednesday after being released from Sri Lankan prison. The Sri Lankan Navy had in October arrested 64 fishermen for allegedly entering Lankan waters. Following talks between authorities of India and Sri Lanka, 63 fishermen were released by Lankan authorities who were repatriated to India in small batches. One fisherman who had been allegedly arrested for the second time was however sentenced to two years imprisonment by a Lankan court. India and Sri Lanka share an expansive oceanic border without any perspicable demarcation. Fishermen from both the countries frequently stray into each other's territory while netting their catch and end up spending years in jails. Exotic vegetable markets set up in different districts of India's Jammu and Kashmir have brought cheer to progressive farmers as they are playing an excellent role to revive traditional organic farming. Exotic farming differs from traditional methods as it involves cultivation of non-indigenous plants in a controlled environment such as greenhouses. Authorities introduced the first exotic vegetable market two years back at the Directorate of Agriculture in Srinagar. The initiative has helped growers to reach out to customers directly with no middlemen involved. They have been getting a good response as well with more and more people giving preference to organic food items. हमारे कश्मीर के 10 डिस्ट्रिक्टों के अंदर 10 डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर पर हमने लोकल मंडीज क्रिएट की हैं ताकि जो फार्मर अपना प्रोड्यूस जो अपने खेत में पैदा करता है इसी एक्सोटिक का वो लाके यहाँ बेच सके और डायरेक्ट जो कंटैक्ट हो वो पैदा करने वाले का और कंज्यूमर का हो और बीच में जो बचोलिया है उससे जो नुकसान मेरे फार्मर को होता था उस नुकसान को बचाने के लिए डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर शदोमत से काम कर रहा है और नीचे में जो एक्सोटिक काम करता हूँ तो इसका जो मार्केट था पहले लोगों को पता नहीं था ये जो स्टार्स लगाए जो ये कदम उठाया गवर्नमेंट ने डिपार्टमेंट ने इससे पता चलता है तो हमें इसमें क्या फायदा होता है कि हमें मार्केट मिलता है जो हमारे पास जो प्रोडक्ट है वे वो आम लोग इसको लेते हैं तो इसमें हमें ये फायदा मिलता है कि हमें मार्केट मिलता है इससे
Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.